looks like a flower, but it's flat on the top. And it has a nice color, and I like the difference of it. A real dinosaur standing right here. So this is the mouth, and then it has just something, a fin on the back of his head, like a shark. It's like a star, and then have stripes go on, on the moon, and then go on the rocket. And then it's go in, then to fall out. And then it's bump his head. It was a full moon, it lost some of its pieces because a shooting star like, got shot on it, and then it lost its pieces. And then somebody found them and put them back on the moon. I knew I needed to create, that I needed uh, something to do for myself, and I went to uh, Zimbabwe. There I found stone to work with. Zimbabwean stone, it has um, a shape from itself already, and uh, that shape, it inspires me to make something out of it. work is suitive from uh, the start of new sculpture. I look at the stone and I get this connection with it. I feel it energetically. You can see they are um, inspired by the nature and the surrounding here in Africa. Mika's sculptures are inspired by nature. She is inspired by the natural energy emanating from the earth into the universe. Her sculptures are organically created, incorporating natural movement. She started sculpting realistic forms, faces and bodies, found a desire to incorporate more of the body in her sculptures, but found it difficult to combine both the body and the face in one piece. This led her to explore abstract forms, where movement and energy could flow naturally. Mika discovered a natural partnership growing between herself as a creator and the stone. In abstraction, she finds freedom for the creative imagination. What inspires me is uh, the energy and how, how it flows from the earth into the universe. Uh, Lately, sculptures have incorporated also the movement of energy goes through life and goes through the sculptures and you you feel it when you look at them. With my hands I can feel almost what it wants to be. With my eyes I see, but with my hands I feel where I still need to take off something. something original to what is already there. Mika started teaching sculpture in 2010. She allows her pupils to select their own stone, believing this to be an important part of the creative process. always taught people individually. I teach and I uh, let them explore it themselves much more than that I tell them uh, what is the method. It's very interesting to see how that is uh, almost as intuitive as creating a sculpture. I really like it. It was worth it, like to see the process of just a, a rock and then turning com into something completely like something else. Painting, it's all just very soft and more emotional. It all just kind of affected everything, which is also very important for me. It is um, a reward for the thing I created 
because it, uh, it connects and it helps another person to create their own imagination. My abstract work can get that connection with people so that they can um, go to their imagination. Like a boy recently said, uh, I've chosen this sculpture because I can imagine anything. <laughs> <laughs>